Hello everyone, my name is Marcin and in this video I'm going to show you amazing way to sharpen images in Photoshop. Before we start, make sure you go into check links in the description to my website, to my premium courses and Instagram. So let's look at our image right now. It's already sharpened. This is the image before and after. Also, I'm going to check some other elements. As you can see, image before and after. And the best part about this technique, you can do this within seconds once you create the action for yourself. If you don't want to create action for yourself, you can download my actions or get them within the course. So let me remove this sharpen layer and I'm going to start from the very beginning. So what you need to do and the very first, you need to duplicate your image twice. So I'm going to press Command or Control and J to duplicate this one once, and then once again to duplicate this twice. So I have this image copy. Now I'm going to rename this into the blur. So one layer will be blurred and the other layer will be sharpened. Why I'm doing this? So we will be working based on the difference. On the first layer, we are going to blur this out just a little bit. And on the other layer, we are going to reverse the effect to make it sharpen. So with the blur layer, I'm going to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. So what I want to do, I'm trying to add just a little bit of blur. Why? Because of I don't want to overdo it. So for this image, three pixels seems about right. As you can see, we are losing details on the hair. We are losing details on the face and on the clothes, which seems about right. Then I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to turn on this sharpen layer. And then I'm going to image and apply image, which is very similar to frequency separation. What we do with the source layer, so as the layer you want to choose here, in this case is blur. If you have different name, make sure you will choose the layer that is below the sharpen layer. That is your bottom layer. Then as I'm working with 8-bit image, I'm choosing blending subtract. If you work with 16-bit image, blending will be add. And then for 8-bit image, subtract scale to offset 1 to 8 and we are ready to go. For 16 bit once again, that will be add scale to offset zero and this box will be checked. Make sure you see this kind of weird high pass filter. It means you did this right. So I'm going with my right settings. As you can see, I see this high pass filter. I'm going to hit okay. Now I can remove the blur layer. I'm going to sharpen layer and we need to change. You might change whether to overlay, soft light, hard light, vivid light, or a linear light, which gives you really a strong result. So I'm going with linear light. Then I'm creating a mask on this. First, mask is white. Everything is visible. I'm going to invert this mask into color black. So I'm pressing Command or Control and I to invert this and hide the effect. Then I'm choosing a brush and with white color, of the brush, I'm going to paint around the areas that I want to bring the effect back or bring the effect that didn't exist before. So I want to sharpen the face. I want to sharpen the hair. I want to sharpen her clothes. As you can see, they are much more visible now. And of course, we want to sharpen the teddy because we want it to be really visible. So you can paint wherever you want. You can sharpen all image. Then you don't really have to create the mask. Of course, I like to create the mask. Whether you work with some element, maybe you want to sharpen only eyes or hands or hair. You can easily mask it out around the area you want to sharpen. Thank you for watching. Once again, I want to invite you to check it out the description link to my website on my website. I also sell presets. I sell actions and I sell color lads for Photoshop. Also, you can find in the description my retouching courses. So make sure you check the links to Udemy or Skillshare. And I'm also going to provide link to the course with these images that we worked 
right now. Thank you for watching and I'm going to talk to you once again in the next Photoshop tutorial.